Hi, this is Trisha from East Bar Shakers. We are on our, I don't know, fourth, fifth day of, fifth day. Fifth day of uh, our time in the Netherlands. Um, today we're going to attempt to take the train to Abkauda. And Abkauda is uh, Rowan's family uh, ancestry home in the Netherlands. And uh, so what, and why we say attempting, we're gonna take the train there and but we're going to take our bikes so we have to take our bikes on the train and then we hope to bike around the countryside there uh today so um right now we're having our coffee and breakfast before we go okay. and uh yeah come join us on our travels Bye. so um when you're traveling by bike on the train you're looking for these kinds of compartments that have the bicycle signs on the doors uh, so that you can uh, lift your bike up into that area. So we've got our bikes up on the platform so there are lifts for every platform and the only issue that we have is whether we're reading the, the um, the schedule properly or not. We think we are. We think we know what we're doing. But time will tell. We'll have to see. <coughs> so in this particular car, mm -hmm. there's room for a couple of wheelchairs. And you just have a bike there. And this is a designated place for bikes. So you can get this is a water closet. They say. Um, so there's two portable seats here, two portable seats there. Uh, yeah, you can go put a, a number of bikes into this area. So, you're right. so this is Alcada Station. And in theory, if we can find Station Street. Find my dad's house where he was born. Move it along. That means platform lane. Yeah. I'm getting there. Spot house of powder. Well, some kind of gymnasium. Oh, it's uh, got a swimming pool in it. Spamins, Sal, Sporting, so sport rooms. I don't know what the last one is. That's a new structure, relatively. Yeah, I'm just trying to find Station Street first. I'm, I'm assuming that's what we're on. Uh, this is not... This is that street with all the trees and things, I think. Brook Zeidselon.
school. Yeah, but this is a bridge going in a different direction, Trish. Still not sure where I, where I am yet. Is this that that uh, walk along the canal that we took that goes so that you see the rooftops like in the painting? No, the church is that one. Okay, so again, I have no idea where we are. Well, it's a nice bike ride. Yeah, I, this is what we came for, really. Yeah. I've got the recording going. So let's see if we can find a bridge that goes to the left across the whatever the water is. Maybe that's not going to happen here. Maybe we need to go back and cross that other bridge. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. Kind of interesting. So it's just known as a Protestant church. The head of form, head of me, the pieces are not marked anymore. Are these? The, is this the church? Yeah, this is the church that uh, uh, my dad. Did. Well, we. Yeah, I just visited this one. I just don't know that that. Uh... Kerplein, Saint Bertus. <coughs> so this is the church that my grandparents and aunts and uncles uh, attended when they were living here.
Protestant churches, it's very, very plain. No ad, uh, adornments at all, uh, except for the tower itself with the cross. So my grandparents lived off in this direction. Shall we go there next, Chris? Side entrance. Yep. Go past the Ama and we should see the other bridge in front of the Stathes. All kinds of construction. Oh, that might have been their street, actually. Back one, Trish. What? That might have been their street. Well, let's just keep on going in. Yeah. Yeah, so... There, there's a stat house. Bridge has been rebuilt. No longer the same construction that we had before. Remember this was the restaurant that we're, we went to? Oh, it's still a restaurant. Capare? Pardon? No. So we go across and then we come, come back around. We went down there. So there's the step house, the municipal center. Let me lift the camera. Okay, so let, let's see if we can find my grandparents' house and go from there. So this is a restaurant. That when we were last here, and it's still a restaurant. Um, we were here in 2007. Front garden. I don't think that was a bridge there, or a lift bridge before. And it is now. Alright. Here we are. That's my grandparents' house and my great grandparents' house next door. With the, it used to be a green door in between. <clears throat> used to be a bike shop and a dress shop. Right? Bike yeah. shop and a dress shop. And now it seems to be a beauty salon and a dress shop. Oh, uh, this was their, the, the, uh, Slakare was here, and that was my grand grandparents place. And the door in between, uh, goes to the Tang, the oh, garden. Okay. But, uh, 
a business, two parents, and ten kids in that building. Uh, pardon? They lived here, okay. above the shop. Okay. That was my grandparents, my great grandparents. Yeah. Lived there, yeah. Pardon? There's a bike place behind it. They moved. Well, maybe they moved across. Yeah. Didn't have enough room? <coughs> Interesting. So the building's across the road. My dad will recognize these as well. Won't recognize necessarily that become a, a uh, lingerie shop. And Hema at the end of the road. I don't know if that was the year when uh, they lived here. And there's a bike shop now across the road. Whereas one of these two windows used to be a bike shop as well. Over the bridge, right almost immediately. This is the same pathway that we went down in 2007 as well. Along the edge of this canal, which I think my dad calls the Gracht. And there's the shot. Well, I gotta get away from the tree a second. But There aren't as many orange roofs anymore. So there's a shot that is very similar to a painting that my father has that we'll be having in our house very, very shortly. And uh, I think it's a major remembrance for him of the uh, time when he lived here. In, uh, Nepkata. So my father was born here and he lived uh, until he was uh, 17 or so uh, when they immigrated uh, after the war. So my opa, my grandfather, had a slakare, a uh, butcher shop. So there's, there's the little canal off to the right hand side it out to you. So there's a little canal there that goes in behind the house where my parents, my my father used to live, grandparents and aunts and uncles. Anyway, so he, uh, he even went to high school here, uh, or what he calls Mulo, uh, which I don't think exists anymore, but uh, um, he had to go to Amsterdam every day for that, and so he went. Oh, look at the gorgeous um, Rosa, Sharon. Rosa Sharon! So he went to uh, Amsterdam every day to go to high school, and then when he got to uh, Canada, uh, he ended up going to a college in the States uh, to become because he was the second son, um, which is was typical at the time. Um, became a predicante, um, a minister, and uh, he had to go to uh, the United States uh, to get that kind of training because it wasn't available in Canada at the time, and uh, he was a um, uh, an immigrant, so he first went to finish off um, 
and undergrad college, uh, and he did that at a combination of Northwest College in Iowa, where he met my mother, and uh, Hope College in Holland, Michigan. And uh, from there, I think Northwestern's in Sioux Center, Sioux City, something along those lines. Um, and from there, he went to Western Seminary uh, to become minister at uh, the Reformed Church Seminary in uh, Holland, Michigan as well. And that's where my sister was born. And uh, when we first, um, our first congregation that my father was uh, responsible for, and he accepted a call to, uh, was in uh, Cooksville, uh, which is now Mississauga, part of Miss Mississauga, uh, close by Streetsville. And uh, that's where I was born. Um, so there's the family history uh, in a, uh, a nutshell. My grandparents, um, after selling the uh, the slacharai, the uh, um, butcher shop, butcher shop here, um, they became producers. So they uh, bought a farm uh, originally in the uh, area. Well, they they went through a number of uh, transition phases where there were farm help and all that kind of stuff uh, for several years in the Burford area, Burford, Ontario, and then they became. Uh, landowners themselves in uh, my hometown now uh, Air. uh, of Air, Ontario, which is a small rural community um, outside of Cambridge, Ontario. And um, yeah, subsequent to that, uh, um, my uncles, so um, Om who passed away uh, last year, uh, earlier this year, um, no, he passed away last year and we had a celebration earlier in the spring. Um, and uh, my Tante Cori's um, husband, uh, Al De Vries, they ended up um, purchasing several other farms that were adjacent to the original homestead and uh, set up quite, quite a, uh, a number of uh, farming um, kinds of uh, businesses so that they raised, uh, on one of the farms, they raised pigs, um, they had the sows, and uh, they brought them, bought, brought the pigs to furrowing stage, and then sold them to market. Um, on my own violence, the original farm, um, they ended up uh, raising steers, beef cattle. Um, originally, they were into dairy, um, but then they went on from there to, uh, to beef cattle. And then when you have steers and pigs and all that, you have to have some uh, grain fields as well too. So they had a lot of a lot of fields that were full of grain to feed their cattle. And hay fields. <coughs> um, so one of my earlier memories in terms of working on farms is uh, uh, doing haying with my uh, uncles uh, in the fields behind Camp Shalom, um, which was uh, kind of an interesting. Um, a set of stories as well, but we, should, uh, we, we won't continue. go there. Let's continue. Pardon? Let's continue. Yeah, so... Uh, you lead on. It, things have changed a bit. I mean, there are... M there's more infrastructure. I mean, these bridges, um, I don't remember them being here. But I don't know if we walked this far. Uh, yeah, we we w walked this far, but I don't think there was a bridge here, Trish. I think... It looks quite cool. I think it turned this way and you couldn't go across. But... Yeah, I don't know. This bridge looks like it's been quite old, so it may, may be my Memory. memories that are not particularly clear. There's a rook play, meaning that you're not supposed to uh, smoke in here. Literally free of smoke. Very difficult 
snack middle of the day. Apple top Smith cookie. And how is it? It hits the spot, does it? Looks like it's got some kind of public function. Oh, it's a restaurant. These are. And then you can see the light. It gives you the timer and the red light. So bikes can't work. <coughs> Alright, we're back in our Airbnb and uh, we rode the train back again, so putting the bikes onto the, uh, the train and uh, as Trisha just said, it's a very civilized way of traveling. Um, so you don't have to exert yourself overly, but you still have uh, lots of opportunities to uh, uh, do sightseeing, uh, get around um, and uh, essentially have have the ability to uh, be mobile uh, rather than having to walk in places. It would have been so nice to actually have a bike available in Vienna uh, rather than uh, ha having to walk. Um, we'll have to bring the bikes back uh, before 10 o'clock and tomorrow morning and then we have to catch the train uh, before noon uh, so that we can get to the airport because uh, we are on our way back to Canada uh, tomorrow evening, afternoon evening. And uh, so I'm going to uh, sign off here for um, all of these uh, uh, special uh, <coughs> vacation um, additions that uh, we've been able to add to the vlog. Do you want to say anything yet? All right. So um, next time you'll see us, we'll be back in the gardens and seeing what we can do to get uh, Rachel's uh, tiny home installed and uh, uh, on to the next uh, set of ventures uh, that we have or tasks or, or challenges or whatever you want to look at them. Anyways, thank you for coming along and uh, uh, we'll see you next time.